Hey guys, it's me, Julie, back with another video. We're going to look at some jewelry today, and tomorrow will be purses. Okay, that's scary. I have nothing set up. That scared me when I just said that. Purses tomorrow. Okay, Julie's going to have to get her button gear. <laughs> okay, you guys, if you'd like to purchase anything, you can pause the video here, and I'll tell you exactly what you need to do. We're looking at mostly costume jewelry today, stuff that I got over the weekend, um, so yeah, anyway, let's get started. Okay, I have this pair of earrings here. What have you guys been doing today? I have been working on anniversary presents. Um, these are cute. These are made out of clay and they're little cups. Somebody was really good though. Look at, good clay artist, okay? So there they are, silver tone, little hooks. Let's do um, $4 on those. So many of you know, I know that my 25th wedding anniversary is this year. So I was down looking through old pictures. I was hanging out with dead people all day, basically. <laughs> dead memories, dead people. It was, um, honestly, it was fun and sad. I got to say a little bit of both. Uh, silver tone and glass with hooks, $5.00. So it's our 25th wedding anniversary, um, and the night Jeff and I met, I've told this story before, but my neighbor was a good friend of mine, and um, I was 18, I was getting ready to go to college, and my family threw me a surprise birthday party, and my neighbor came, and he brought two of his friends from where he used to live previously. One of them was Jeffy Poo. So um, that's how I met Jeff. And there's pictures from that night because it was my 18th birthday. You know, there there weren't any, you know, phone cameras or anything back then. Okay. Uh-uh. You had to have the camera, bring the filming, get it developed. So we were lucky there were pictures that night. So anyway, okay, this is um, acrylic. And it's a really cool color combination, you guys. This is a really neat bead. This one has a drop of a 17 inch drop on this one. Let's go $8. So um, that night when I met Jeff, he had a troll t-shirt on, okay? Remember vintage trolls? And Jeff was a very, very good pitcher in high school for baseball. So it was a pitcher troll. Uh, this one has a drop of 18 inches. It's really cool. Silver and gold tone kind of braided together beads. Uh, let's go $6 on that one. So I was looking through pictures. I know there's a picture of him in that shirt. I know it for a fact because I want to try and find the shirt. Okay. Because you know, eBay, you can find anything, right? <laughs> I cannot find the picture of him in that shirt. You have no idea how many pictures I went through. I found one. It's the back of the shirt, and he's down in this little corner. I found pictures of him with his shirt off because we were playing basketball, like the whole party was, and it was wicked hot. My birthday's in August. Anyway, besides the point, I'm trying to detangle these shells. So I need to find a troll pitcher, baseball pitcher shirt, vintage from the 90s. This is ridiculous. <laughs> Vintage from the 90s. Um, yeah. So that's, I'm working on that. And then I pulled out our wedding um, videos. They're on VHS. And I started the process to get those put on a thumb drive. I'm going to send them away and have them done. Um, okay. I'm sorry, guys. I promise I'm coming. <laughs> Could we look at jewelry, please? What? You don't want to look at this? Come on. Come on. You don't. Um, so I started that today too, and then we're going to go away for like four days. Um, so I started really whittling down where we're going to stay. So yeah, it's been fun today. Uh, shell necklace, you guys, it's an infinity. It does have this knot for the back of the neck. These are pretty. These are like cowrie shells, I believe they're called. And then there's all the little shells in between. This is a pretty strand. Very pretty. This one is um, almost an 18 inch drop. Let's do $8 on that one. So yeah, that's what I've been doing. And while I was in the pictures, I also pulled out, oh, this is the same one, you guys. And so is this, and so is this. So lots of strands of this, if you would like. There are bigger and smaller versions. 
I think these are the same size as the last one. Let me just measure again. This one is actually a 16 and a half inch drop, $8 on that one. So check all the numbers if one is sold, you guys. Actually, that one is graduated, my bad. The last one was not graduated, this one's graduated. So you've got bigger ones here up to smaller ones, okay? A little bit different on that one. Um, but check all the numbers if you like those. And then this is the same. They're graduated to the bigger shells here, to the smaller shells there. This one has a drop of 16 inches, $8 also. Um, yeah. Oh, I know what I was going to tell you. And one more. Again, this one is graduated. Okay, bigger to smaller. This one has a drop of uh, 17 inches on this one, $8. So I also pulled out pictures of my old dogs, my niece, who made my Brianna, um, I don't know where that came from, my Bryn <laughs> picture that's my um, like logo for the channel, um, is working on one with all of my dogs that I've had through my lifetime in one picture, um, through my adult lifetime, I should say. Uh, this is Gold Tone Chunker. It is Monet. Um, it's a long one. It's a long one. I would say it's in pretty good shape. Maybe minor, minor, minor wear. This is a 26 inch drop, you guys. It's a big boy. Let's look at it up close. We. Okay, so let's do this one for $10. So yeah, I pulled out. Do you guys want to see? Actually, they're right here. I was going to take pictures in the under the lights for her. This is, um, this is Sprout when he was a baby. He was a Brussels Griffon. I have a little pillow on my bed I call the Sprout Pillow because he slept curled up at my stomach when I was sleeping on my side for 15 years. So um, I have a little pillow that's like Sprout size and we call it the Sprout Pillow. <laughs> um, this is Tanner. He was our first Chihuahua. This is Sachem. I got her, we called her Chummy. I got her when I was in college. Um, this is Sprout when he needs a grooming, when he's older. We used to groom him so he'd have a mohawk. He was so cute. I'm looking for one more. There's one more doggy here. Oh, I love this picture of Tanner in the grass. <laughs> oh, here she is. Are you ready? Is there not a human in that? That one is uh, too human-y. Let me see. Oh, there's my hairless cat. That was PJ's. I love that cat so, 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 so much, you guys. There's my Miss Daisy. That was her name, Miss Daisy. Oh, here's another one. <laughs> Tanner again. Daisy again. Sachem. All right, anyway. So, yeah, I was hanging out with uh, dead people <laughs> and dogs, I guess. Um. Anyway, so I'm going to send those to her, and I'm going to have an image that has all of them in it, and I cannot... Wait, you guys, I'm so excited. It's going to be so awesome to have them all together. I'm like so excited for it. Um, okay, so this is a uh, silver tone chain at the back, and it goes down to a uh, gunmetal tone, a green enamel, or uh, however they did that, like a mustardy color or khaki, I would say more, um, and silver tone chains like so graduated it's a long one we'll do that again ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> uh, let's do this one for eight dollars that one's in nice shape yeah so that's what i've been doing all day what have you been doing tell me about it huh? tell me tell me these are talbots new on the card gold tone and the faux tortoiseshell acrylic maybe some light scratching very 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 minimal uh, I don't know how much these originally were, but we are going to do $8. Eight whole dollars. Uh, I have this one. Oops, hold on. I've got an earring stuck. Do, 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 do. Gold tone, little brochy poo. It's so fun. It's like intertwined circles, kind of like a slinky. Yeah, that reminds me of the slinky. Uh, let's do, um, we're going to go $6 on that one. 
I have a gold tone scarf clip. I've got an earring hanging off it again. This stuff that we're looking at right this second was all together in the same bag. So we're having a little bit of tingly issues. I'm looking to see if this scarf clip is marked. It says patent pending, so it probably is vintage. Gold tone, let's do $6 on that. Uh, I have this brooch. It's acrylic, you guys, and silver tone. Definitely needs a cleaning, and then some of the acrylic is scratched. Um, and yeah, there's wear on the prongs. Let's just do um, two bucks on that one. Next, I bought a purse from Kristen D. Last purse sale, you guys. I couldn't even stand it. If you watched our video, try and guess what bag I bought. Haha. <laughs> You should know. You will. You would figure it out, I think, because you know what kind of bags I like to carry if you watch my videos, and you know some of my favorite colors if you watch my videos. <laughs> Put it in the comments if you have an idea. So we have this um, like faux amber acrylic beads, and then, um, you know what, guys? I'm going to stick my black light on this because it feels really light. No. Okay, so I tried that because when I kind of touched these beads, they felt really, really light, and amber is super, super light. Um, it has two hooks on the end. Um, wood beads, cute. Um, two tier, obviously. Has a 12 inch drop. This one is going to be $6. Uh, Gold tone, little flower brooch, some light scratching on there. Uh, not bad, could use a wipe down. How about $6 on that one? Remember, we're still looking for our little picture of Bryn. Our little picture of Bryn is in here for our giveaway. When she shows up, when she decides to make an appearance, when she decides to grace her, us, grace us, what, forget it, forget it. <laughs> Uh, we have this brooch, gold tone, faux pearl. Uh, she popped out of her little... <gasps> oh, guys, do you like my nails? <laughs> I am, like, thrilled by them, guys. I, like, really, really like my nails this time. And I haven't, like, really, 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 like, gone crazy like them in a while. Meaning, they're great, but not, like, Whoa! These are, Whoa! to me. Six dollars. Mm -hmm. I was very happy. Very. Okay, we have faux pearl flower uh, wreath brooch. Um, if you want the bar like traditionally, it would go like that, but I think it's meant to go this away. Let's do six dollars on that. That does have light scratching too, you guys. Okay, I'm pulling all the brooches because they're not as tangled. <laughs> Uh, we have this one. I think this is West Germany. Yep. West Germany scarf clip in an antique gold tone. Six dollars. Um, these are so fun, you guys. Look at these. Uh, these are earrings. They would go in your earlobe like so. Ta -da! There is, you know when the um, gold tone gets blistery? There is some of that on the inside, so just be aware. But other than that, they're perfect. Let's go $5. Actually, let's go $4. Okay. Um, oh, I thought I was going to keep this. Look at it. Isn't it fun? Yeah, I might wear that, you guys. I might wear that. Maybe it will show up in a sale soon. Um, I have this one. It's like a brushed gold tone. Um almost, I don't know how you would call it, like a matte gold tone. It's really cool. Check it out. That one's going to be $6. Okay. I have this one, a shiny gold tone, light scratching. Uh, it's like a carrot without its top. Uh, $6. Did you see the number? I kind of did that quickly. I have this bracelet, gold tone and faux pearl. It reminds me of a Napier, but I don't see a uh, tag. This has some very light wear on it, okay? Everything else looks pretty good. Seven and a quarter. Let's do um, $7. Seven on seven, you guys. Seven on seven. Uh-oh. 
think I've been waiting for that phone number to call me, but I can't think of who it is. <laughs> this is really funny, you guys. <laughs> this is, um, the stuff we're looking at right now is actually my aunt Sharon's. Hi, Sharon. Hello. I had given her this and it wasn't like her style anymore. So she had me um, take it back and uh, show it to you guys again. But look how she did her extender. Are you ready? Genius. <laughs> She added her homemade necklace extender. Um, <laughs> I thought that was so funny. I'm like, doesn't it rip out your hair? <laughs> All right, so these elephants are really cool. There's copper, um, brass, and silver tone. Uh, brass on the back. Really, really cool piece. A little bit of my aunt's hair for you. So this uh, brass definitely has a little bit of patina. This one has a total length of, what's 11 plus 12, guys? 23 inches. There we go. Isn't it cute? That one's going to be 15, you guys. And I have the earrings to match. I do. Right here in this mess. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. Here we go. Again, brass, copper, silver tone. They're on the little hooks. They're brass hooks. Let's do $6 on those. Those are really cute. Um, if you buy the whole set, necklace and earrings, I will mark it down to $18, okay? Just tell me in your email because I will never know. Um, I will never know, guys. You'll get charged full price. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to move all the earrings and such over. Oh, I grabbed this from her. I think I'm going to craft with it. Cool, right? I think it's cool. Ask me if I already have a bazillion uh, watches, watch parts, and um, stopwatches, pocket watches to craft with. Well, yes, I do. I even have glass watch faces and glass clock faces. Um, I do. I have all <laughs> I have all of that. <laughs> do I need those? That thing? No. <laughs> Uh, okay, here we go. We have a pair of clippies. Hold on, I'm going to get them apart here. Oh, I just lost the little thinger. I'll grab it. It's actually in pretty nice shape. Okay, here we go. Little um, acrylic and gold tone, little clippies. Um, they could use a wipe down. I don't think there's anything wrong with them. Let's go $5. Next, we have these. I thought that this circle might be sterling. It's not. It's magnetic. It gave me sterling feels. It kind of has like that yellowing that sterling gets. Um, these are, I think those are acrylic, you guys. Um, so this yellowing might be a little bit of discoloration, but it's all over. So I don't think it is. Um, yeah, I would say they're in pretty good shape. Hooks, let's go $5 on those. Oh, do you want to see what they look like hanging from your ear? Yes, Julie, that would be nice. Ta -da. <laughs> Next, we have, okay, these guys, these guys, these are little acrylic uh, studs. They are um, little rhinestones. I'll show you the backside. Not super expensive earrings um, like that one. Okay, and I'll do both pairs for two bucks. We get all four. It's a four fur. These, hold on. I really thought that these were, these are sterling silver. Okay, uh, this is the pair that was. Okay, uh, sterling silver and opal earrings. I forgot these were in here, so not all costume. Um, let's look at the opals. I would say that's probably a man-made opal, you guys, and like little slices of it, like a doublet or triplet, which means how many layers of opal. If it's two, it's called a doublet. If it, there's three, it's called a triplet. Okay, cool. Um, I see a little like glue residue like right there. Do you see that? So just be aware that that's there. Uh, let's go 15. Those are pretty, really pretty. I guess man-made or lab created, probably both the same words. 
They're working outside, you guys. Framing is actually starting tomorrow, which is so exciting. And oh my goodness, the dogs are, look what I just found. Please hold. Guys, it's okay. Uh-oh, my chair arm is stuck under the table. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, you guys. Oh, Julie, comedy of errors. Um, Bryn got out the door this morning, and um, she charged barking at two of the workers, and then calmed down. I'm yelling, she's friendly. And then she calmed down and was her friendly, goofy self. I'm like, oh, my gosh, Bryn. Way to make friends. That's a good way to make friends there, Brynny. All right, Gold Tone Leaf Clippies. Let's go $5 on those. So yeah, framing starts tomorrow. <laughs> so exciting, you guys. That, feel, that will feel like serious progress, you know? Okay, these are glass, and they have like a rainbow hematite kind of finish, okay? Um, there's a little bit of wear on the rainbow, but I think it kind of gives it character. I don't think there's like, I don't think it's, bad you guys look at it so make sure you know silver tone little hooks maybe a little wear on those too on that one okay we'll make them inexpensive two dollars okay we have some silver tone post earrings they sit on your ears in a um diamond type shape looks like tree bark doesn't it looks like tree bark to me i love it five dollars those are in nice shape. I would say antique silver tone, not just silver tone. These are cute. Look at these. Gold tone, little flowers with enamel on hooks. These are really cute. Let's go six on those. Um, yeah. Oh, these are cute, you guys. I remember these. Check these out. Okay, so silver tone and acrylic it's like a gray stone on hooks and here's the back with the hearts what does that make you think i know what it makes me think it kind of makes me think could these possibly be brighton but i might be wrong i'm not great at identifying bright brighton jewelry so um let's do five dollars if they were brighton for sure i would charge more um these came from columbia and they are a little post earrings and my aunt said that she thought they were like a numbered item so a little bit better of an item they're marked gc okay so here we go let's do these little cuties and i did look up this imagery it's definitely imagery that is used um in south america and my aunt um took in my nephew's uh, best friend during high school for four years. And um, he was from Columbia, so he got these for her. So anyway, uh, let's do these for $6. Um, these are some, I don't see the other one of this, there it is. Thermoset plastic, okay, and gold tone. It's that light gold tone, it's the screw back and clip at the same time and I see a little C in a circle. Is that a Coro? I don't know. I don't know the answer to that. Um, I do, oh my goodness, I do see some glue residue at the top, okay? Okay, let's do four dollars on those. Um, I have these hooks, hook earrings, in gold tone. Look to be in nice shape. How about $5? Next, oh, I have a, a bar pin with red enamel, okay? Not a bar, really, huh? A bar wouldn't have that, Julie, but okay, whatever. Uh, $6, and I forgot, guys, I was looking at this. Look at, I think these might go together. Do you think? Like, that might have hung from there. They're kind of really similar colors. Do you think so? But that doesn't make sense because then we have this. I, I don't know. I don't know. I I don't know the answer. Um, 
All right, I'm gonna sell this part, but it looks like maybe it had something hanging from it. And this looks to be uh, gold filled to me, but it's not marked. Um, just for fun, it's kind of giving me gold feels, isn't it? And it's not magnetic, but I don't think it is. Brr. Something else to tell me it's not. That weld doesn't look very good. Solder doesn't look very good, so it's probably not gold. Hmm. Should we test it? Should we test it? No, I'm not going to. It's gold filled. Six dollars. Um, this is really cute, you guys. It's a San Francisco bridge. San Francisco? Yeah, I think so. It's a little gold tone charm. It says, oh yeah, the Golden Gate Bridge. That's right. Isn't that San Francisco? I think so. <laughs> All right, uh, $3. What do I know? I don't know. Um, we have these guys. I think these were sterling also. If they're not magnetic, they are, yeah. And they're marked. Um, here we go, little cuties with little dangles. I'm surprised you didn't grab these, mama. I am surprised. She's going, man, how did I miss those? <laughs> those are going to be 15. Super pretty. Um, I have this really pretty stick pen. Kind of like um, a daffodil shape, right? Doesn't it kind of remind you of that? Um, it It is a little wonky right here. I think this is probably gold filled also. Uh, it's giving me that look. Five dollars. Um... I have this little brochy poo. It is in a copper tone. Uh, let's do $5 on that one. Um, I have this ring. Uh, I wanted to, hold on one second. I think I had put my testing stuff away by the time we got to that, so I'm just gonna stick it in my testing. Uh, silver tone, little fun earrings. With little bars some are have some have like a f hammered -y finish or whatever it's like blisters maybe in the it's kind of fun though okay so they'd go like this uh they have hooks let's go five dollars uh i have these clippy hoops those are pretty with the little like embossing on them those are cute how about five dollars like i said they're clippies next oh I grabbed this from her because you guys always want these this one does have some wear though um this is an extender she had an extender and she did the elastic <laughs> uh this one has wear so um two bucks okay <laughs> um let's see okay these are Liz Claiborne and they are gold tone it's that light gold tone um, here we go. And they are little hoops. And this is what they hang like. And here they are. Isn't that pretty? Peachy acrylic. Uh, let's do $5 on those. I have these. These are brass tone. The little leaf on there and an acrylic purple bead. And those are hooks. $5. Um, I have these guys. There's some wear on these. I wasn't sure. My mom's house wasn't super bright, but there is wear all over this faux pearl. Um, these are silver tone hooks, um, orange to rhinestones, and a pearl with damage, okay? So here's how these hang. Let's just do a dollar on those. Um, we have this. These are gold tone. These are very lightweight, you guys. Um, and the hooks look more like brass, okay? So here's what they would hang like. Uh, is that wear right there? It might be. Let's just do a dollar on these. And I have these. These are posts, kind of a swishy shape. Okay, they would sit on your ear like this up. 
Okay, how about four dollars? Next, okay, I have a couple, a couple, I have a pair. Um, they're a couple too, they've been together forever. <laughs> Faux pearl, silver tone, little dangly earrings, like so. Kind of like a, um, uh, what color would that pearl be? Like a champagne, I think, maybe? Beige? <laughs> four dollars okay and then this guy is messed up I was going to try to carefully my dogs are barking again try to carefully see if I could make it all better on my mandrel so if I do this it's not always successful you guys sometimes the ring breaks but I just kind of slowly work my way down and hopefully it will do what it's supposed to um, it works better on the metal mandrel than the plastic because it kind of chews up the plastic um okay I think much better <laughs> now it could at least go on a finger okay so here it is um this was not sterling so this is just like a silver tone ring what does that say Plate. Flat. It might be silver plate. Um, it's coming in at about a size. I would say you can get to a seven in that because you definitely have room on this side. Um, it will still go on your finger just fine, but um, yeah, she's a little wonky. It's kind of cool, huh? Cool shape. All right, let's just do uh, three bucks. All right, let me move this tray to the side. Holy cow, we're moving. We're moving and grooving. Let's move this one over and let's see what else I have here. I have more jewelry up here in case, but I have stuff in bags here from this weekend. Let's see what we've got. Oh my gosh, this might be my favorite thing. Are you ready? Look at it. You guys, it's a little hedgehog. See his little face? That's his little no, No, that's a lie. There's his little face. <laughs> that's his tail. I'm like, wow, it doesn't look like I remember. <laughs> Isn't it so cute? Um, maybe a little wear on some of those points, but not bad at all. He's so, so to die for. $6. You know me and the critters. I love them. <laughs> All right, come on, bag, open. Okay, I have this silver tone uh, bracelet. Okay. I think it's in pretty good shape. Um, is this? Yeah, it's how it should be. Sorry, I was trying to see if that was not working the way it's supposed to, but it is. It's seven inches, you guys. Um, I can see some wear right there. Okay, so I would say there's some wear on this one. Let's just do $2. Uh, this one. Isn't this fun? It feels so neat, you guys. So we have a little collar necklace in silver tone. Okay, it gets smaller to bigger. And this one is coming in at... Uh, 17 inch total length, super fun, not signed, fold over clasp. This one's in nice condition. Okay, let's do $10 on that one. Actually, let's do eight and you have a little wipe down needed. Maybe some, it might be some uh, hairspray or something like that. Okay, $8. Next, I have some vintage earrings. These are cute. Um, so they are clippies, silver tone, and then it's kind of like a gunmetal tone around the rhinestone. And these turn like so and dangle. Isn't that kind of fun? Um, let's see this one. Turns like so and dangles. Interesting, huh? Those are cute. So here we go. Okay, here's I'll just show you one. Here we go. All right, let's do uh, $5. Oopsie, $5. Oh, my aunt's hair is hanging on. 
Okay, I have a brochy poop coming up. It is gold tone. It is beautiful enamel um, flower. Cute. Okay, let's go $6 on that one. I have a couple butterfly brooches in here, keeping each other company. Dun -dun. Okay, what have we got? All right, we have this one that has this at the bottom, uh, some kind of religious iconography, I believe. Uh, it is gold tone. The bar, the pin bar is bent. Um, let's go $5 on that one. It's very, very pretty. And this one has silver tone, faux abalone, little butterfly brooch. That's so cute. I think it's acrylic. Let's go $6 on that one. I have, I'm going to set those to the side because I have two sizes in that. So somebody might want them for both. Uh, if you have more than one piercing, so I'll probably just sell them together. Might be easier. Okay, this is Alex and Ani. It's in a brass tone. It is awesome. Look at that cowboy boot. Um, and there are the little Alex and Ani tags. Okay, charity by design. So it must have been for some kind of charity, I'm assuming. Um, yeah, let's do seven. Seven dollars on that one. Poor Alex and Ani did not hold their value. You know what I'm saying? Sad, sad, sad. Okay, these here are lever backs with little uh, white cat's eye. I would say there's some light wear on the lever backs, so it's going to hang like so. Let's do uh, three bucks on those. All right, I have a sterling ring. I forgot this was in here. Um, there is a stamp and it's marked 1977. Sterling and it's this, that stamp, okay? It's a really fun ring with a little like twist in it. Um, and I'm gonna just double check the size. Six and a half, you guys. That one's a six and a half. How about 10 bucks. I think that one already came through here, so I'll give it a lower price. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Gold tone brooch with enamel. Isn't this so pretty? Now, hold on, please, because I feel like there was enamel missing from this. Is this the piece? Maybe it's not. Okay, I don't think this is the piece. Okay, gold tone uh, with enamel. Let's do $6, it's really pretty. I have a silver tone bow brooch. There we go, cute. Uh, you're not in your spot, sir, ma'am. There we go. Let's do $6 on that one. That one's a nice shape. I have a Nope, it's not what I was going to say. Don't say that. I was going to say Sarah Cub. It's not Sarah Cub because I saw the mirror. <laughs> it is Da Vinci. Okay. Uh, new tag. It is a seven and a half inch length. It is a toggle bracelet. There we go. Okay. Like so. And it has this little like mirror hanging from it. And it looks like you could probably fit any Pandora style bead on. No, I'm lying. How would you do that? You can't even get that on. How would you do that? Okay, forget it. Forget I ever said that. Rewind. <laughs> Let's do $7 on that one. Okay, I have a Leah Sophia and it's on a um, black uh, faux or real leather. I am thinking it's a real leather cord, you guys. There's the necklace. Here's what it looks like, okay? Uh, this one has a drop of nine and a half inches plus an extender, and here's the Leah Sophia tag. Dun dun. Uh, there we go, let's go $7. Next, we're gonna finish this stuff, guys. There's like 10 bags or so, and then I will head. 
gonna be out of here. Oh my gosh, I love this guy. I've sold him before, but mine didn't have a tail, I don't think. This is an Avon tack pin, a little mousy. Isn't it so cute? With a rhinestone tail, there's Avon. Let's do $7 on that one. Uh, these, I remember these. We have two little baby pendants or charms. I think that the owl is probably a charm. Maybe they both are. It's a little gold tone, little owl charm. Let's do $3. And then this guy, it's a little caged pearl gold tone. Uh, faux pearl, I think. Would be really hard to check that. Let's just do um, $4 on that one. I have this one, or these ones, it's more than one. I have this brooch, ooh, that's pretty, look at that. Uh, silver, antique silver tone and some enamel, super pretty, or maybe I should say gunmetal tone. Might be more of a gunmetal tone. I don't know, it's in between gunmetal tone and antique silver tone, okay, okay. I'm trying to make sure this works. Do you work? Yes. Okay. Super, super pretty. Six dollars. Um, okay, I have this guy. This is a silver tone necklace. A little butterfly with um, mother of pearl and abalone inlay and some enamel. Okay, the back has like a little bit of wear, I would say. Um... The chain's not shiny anymore, but I'm not seeing like wear per se. What does that say? I want to see. Oh yeah, it's artistry. A-R-T-I-S-T-R-Y. And then it says T-M, okay? Uh, this one has a drop of uh, seven and three quarter inches. Let's do $8 on that one. It's very pretty. Uh, I have this guy. I knew this guy had wear and I bought him anything. Anyway, I'm going to make him inexpensive, but I thought he was so cute. Sea star. Um, oh, that might be a tiny bit of verdigris right there. And there's wear on that point. Okay. Silver tone or an antique silver tone. Um, yeah, I think that's a little bit of verdigris. Okay. We'll just do a dollar. It's a little pendant. Next. I have a leaf pin, silver tone with like the fake marcasites, um, which means they just made them out of metal or the fake rhinestones. Let's do $6 on that one. It's in nice condition. I have some vintage earrings. They are clippies. Okay. Eek. Please work. I almost didn't have my video up yesterday, you guys. I got back from getting my nails done and it hadn't uploaded. I'm like, oh no. And I didn't even notice till like 4.30, I had to stop. And it was like, sometimes you start to upload and it's not doing anything. It says like 20 hours left or whatever. That's what it was doing. I was like, uh oh, but it made it, whew. Okay, these are in nice condition, silver toe. Clippies, five bucks. I would say they are vintage. Okay, sorry, um, my sister-in-law sent me something. I don't know what it is, but I peeked. Okay, here we go. I never call her my sister-in-law, I call her my sister. If I say sister-in-law, she's like, sister? I'm like, yeah, sister. <laughs> um, I usually do not say sister-in-law. Uh, anyway, tack pin, uh, gold tone bunny, how about five bucks? Uh, tack pin, silver tone, the pin part is bent, and it's a little snowflake, three bucks. And I have some silver tone feather earrings with a little acrylic turquoise color ball bead there, uh, four bucks. And, oopsie, hold on, it went in the wrong pocket. There we go. Uh, I have a silver tone necklace. This one had a little bit of wear, but I took it anyway. Um, so it's going to be inexpensive. It's a collar necklace. It is silver tone. It gives me totally Monet vibes. It's not Monet. 
Um, let me show you. It just has scratching. Um, so that's why I was like, eh, it's kind of a little bit of wear on it. But that's all it is, just some scratching on all of it. Uh, this one has a length of, I just lost the clasp. Here it is. Well, that was easy way to find it. I should do that every time. Flip it over. Okay, please hold. Uh, this one is a 17 and a half inch total length. Okay, uh, so this one is going to be six bucks. Okay, I have these little vintage earrings. I can't get in. There we go. They are um, like a resin or acrylic in like an ivory color. They are screwbacks. How hard is it going to be to get these apart? I would really like to show them apart. There we go. There we go. What does it say on there? Crements. Nice. Okay, gold tone. They definitely need a cleaning, okay? Crements little screwbacks. I love the little flower on the back of their screwback. Let's do um, $8 on those. And let me set this bin to the side. And I think we'll just finish up this soft-sided bin um, with what's left. Where is the other pair of earrings that I've been saving this for? I don't even see them. Did I already show them? I don't think so. Maybe I did. All right, well, whatever. Whatever. Uh, I have a rhinestone necklace. Isn't that cool? <laughs> rhinestones uh silver tone it's like diamond cut silver tone chain and like um blue turquoisey rhinestones um it's giving me claire's vibes uh eight and a quarter inch drop plus you have this extender so let's do that one for six dollars next okay this one i was going to pull this little charm off and i forgot because this has wear, okay? So, um, no, no, Julie, you're gonna break it. That was a really bad plan. Okay, um, I would say this is probably acrylic and a cool turquoise color. Uh, it says Lucky, so I think it was probably Lucky brand. Uh, a little stretch, um, but you have wear on this little tag. Uh, four bucks. I forgot I was going to take that off. And I mean, jewelry tools with me. Where you going, don't, don't. <laughs> All right, I gotta save this chain for, Linda's been organizing jewelry for me and she has a bunch of pendants, she said. So I have to save that for Linda. Okay, these are really cool, guys. Um, So I don't know this for sure, but I want to show you this one backing says Swarovski. So, um. They could be, and they have some nice shine to them. So they could be Swarovski. I am not sure, though. Um, I didn't see. Oh, yeah, there is a marking. All right, let's see if I can read that and see if we can confirm the Swarovski. Yeah, guys, there's a um, there's a swan. see it okay cool hey that worked well with my loop yay julie go me <laughs> um okay so here it is they are red swarovski crystal earrings let's do those for um mm, i want i'm going between eight and ten in my head i'm going eight ten eight ten eight ten well swarovski okay ten no, but they're studs only. All right, eight, eight, ten, eight dollars. <laughs> Did you like being inside my head for a moment? <laughs> Say nope. <laughs> All right, I have another brooch. This is another like antique silver tone. A big cat of some kind. Um, there we go. Let's do six bucks. And, okay, these earrings, I have two pairs. 
Um, they are together, but you know what I think I'm going to do? I'm just going to cut this pad, pad in half, then I can show them to you easily instead of taking them off. Let's see, I have crummy scissors up here. Oh, it worked fine. Great. Okay, so silver tone little Thunderbird earrings. Let's do $5 on those. Are they the same length? Yeah, they're okay. $5. And then silver tone Coca Pelli. <gasps> Look, those are going to be a giveaway. If you'd like to win the Co Coca Pelli uh, earrings, uh, first of all, subscribe, please. Um, if you are not in the United States, I'd ask you to sit this one out. I just did one international. The last winner was international. So we're going to take off like two weeks for international and then you guys can join again. Um, sorry about that. Just shipping's crazy expensive, you guys know. Uh, so put in the description after you subscribe, put in the comments, I mean, sorry. Write I win, I space W-I-N and I will give these away next Tuesday. Okay. That is the Bryn. <laughs> That's the Bryn picture I'm always talking about. Okay, these are clay, you guys. Little like teardrop shape, silver tone hooks. Let's do four bucks. Okay, just a couple more things. Three more pieces. One. We have some silver tone screw back earrings. Okay, like so. Those are glass, little crystals. Those are cute. Okay, maybe some light wear on the screw back area. Okay, but they're super, super pretty. Um, and this little triangle like veil, that kind of looks brassy. Okay, just so you know, four bucks. And oh, second to last. I can't believe I lost that other pair of earrings. Maybe I did show them yesterday. Uh, silver tone clippies. Oh, guys, these these look like they match that brooch. They really do. Hold on, let me pull the brooch out if I can. The one that I said they're super pretty. Do they? Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. Dun dun. Well, they look very nice together. They're not a set, but they do look nice together. That brooch was number 140, 140, if you're interested. Okay, clippies, antique silver tones, some little um, enamel. These are in nice condition, $5. You know what, hold on, are all the rhinestones there? I think they are. Okay, yes, we're good. And last, I was holding on to these because I had them in another size. Who knows where they went? I must have shown them. These are gold tone and rhinestone little earrings. They have a lot of flash. Look how pretty they are. Uh, are they glass? They might be CZs. Hold on. Whoop. Yes, those are beautiful CZs, you guys, and they have their backings. They're in perfect condition. How about four bucks? All righty. That's it, you guys. We did it. Don't forget to enter the giveaway, and I'm going to see you tomorrow for purses.